Arc Invest aims to provide broad exposure into disruptive innovation. They focus solely on emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, energy storage, robotics, DNA sequencing, and blockchain technology. All are poised to revolutionize the world and deliver outsized growth as the industries transform. If you're someone who wants to invest in innovation, then the ARC ETFs may fit your needs. I'm Sean, a data scientist working in AI who teaches personal finance and investing on this channel. Before we dive into things, let me give you a video breakdown. First, we'll talk about ARC Invest, what it is, what makes it unique, and the CEO. Next, we'll talk about ARC's investment strategy and the five major innovation platforms. Third, we'll talk about the different ETFs that ARC Invest offers. Then we'll talk about the top 10 holdings of one of the most popular ARK ETFs. Lastly, I'll close with some of my final thoughts on the ARK Invest ETFs. ARK Invest is not your traditional investment manager. Recently, there has been an explosion of technological breakthroughs. Take it from me working in artificial intelligence. The greatest impact of technological transformation on economic activity was in the 1900s when innovation soared with the telephone, automobile, and electricity. Today, the impact of technology is greater with innovations in blockchain technology, genome sequencing, robotics, energy storage, and artificial intelligence. ARK Invest doesn't seek to grow their stock portfolios by indexing the market, but focuses solely on companies poised to disrupt the market. ARK Invest strives to invest at the pace of innovation. So what makes ARK Invest unique? ARK captures disruptive innovation in the public equity markets. In other words, innovative companies offered in the stock market. ARK's analysts are organized by cross-sector innovation because they realize the impact of technological convergence across markets and industries. For example, AI and blockchain are not two separate technologies that will never cross. The integration of machine learning into blockchain can enhance data analysis to provide value. ARK employs an open research approach where their investment strategies and portfolios are broken down in all public information. They focus on long term. In the past few years, ARK Invest has performed exceedingly well, but their focus lies on the long term effects of disruptive innovation. This aligns with many young investors who intend to invest for decades. Kathy Wood is the founder and CEO of ARK Invest. She has decades of experience managing investments and founded ARC for two reasons. First, to focus on disruptive innovation in the public equity markets, and second, to open up research in the stock investing space. This one quote from her describes her mission perfectly. We're all about finding the next big thing. Those hewing to the benchmarks which are backwards looking are not about the future. They are about what has worked. We're all about what is going to work. ARK's investment strategy seeks long-term capital growth by investing in companies pursuing disruptive technologies. ARK defines disruptive innovation as the introduction of a technologically enabled product or service that potentially changes the way the world works. In the past, sci-fi novels and movies made these technologies an interesting concept, but the costs were just simply too high. With recent cost-effective technological breakthroughs, ARC believes now is the time where innovation will skyrocket. They identify five major innovation platforms, artificial intelligence, robotics, energy storage, DNA sequencing, and blockchain technology. Artificial intelligence or AI involves using computers to do tasks traditionally requiring human intelligence. These tasks include visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and language translation. There's two major reasons why AI is possible today, the increase of computing power and big data. The way artificial intelligence works is that there are algorithms designed to accomplish a certain task, such as identifying what's in an image. By training these algorithms with a large amount of diverse data, high performance can be achieved. In the case of image classification, if you train an algorithm to identify what's in an image between 10 different classes, you can achieve a 99.37% accuracy. The average human can only achieve about a 94% accuracy and does so at a much slower pace. Cost efficient, powerful computer components make it possible to digest large amounts of information, which has been the reason for recent breakthroughs in AI. 
Other technologies involving AI include speech recognition, think of Siri from Apple or Alexa from Amazon. There's also streaming media recommendations with YouTube and Netflix. Netflix has like a 10 second window for you to escape and I just can't do it. And there are self-driving cars being worked on by Tesla, Uber, and many other companies. Automation leads to increased productivity. Take self-driving cars for example. Instead of focusing on the road, one can read a book or watch a movie during their daily commute. There will be less cars on the road, reducing traffic, our carbon footprints, and increasing safety as these machines are able to drive better than humans ever could. Unlike machines, humans do tire and that fatigue can result in devastating accidents. The drawbacks of AI would be ethical concerns and people's openness to these technologies, but I truly believe AI is the future. Robotics. You probably noticed the impact of robotics around you. Your local grocery store have kiosks where you can self-check out your purchases. Robotics in manufacturing companies eliminate the dull repetitive tasks that humans originally did. And there are also drones that can deliver packages right to your doorstep. As time goes on, robotics will be integrated more into our societies and automate tasks away. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Automating away tasks will lead to loss of jobs performed by people. And because people spending money makes the economy go round, there has to be implemented policies and changes to make sure all of the displaced workers have a path moving forward. Energy storage. Battery costs have reached a tipping point where the costs are decreasing at a faster rate than anyone anticipated, while the productivity and power produced from these batteries is constantly increasing. Lithium ion batteries have been around since the early 1990s and is what powers many devices today. One huge emerging technology that utilizes lithium ion batteries are electric vehicles, and Ark Invest believes electric vehicles are the future. Electric vehicles are better for the environment than gas-powered vehicles. They can accelerate incredibly quickly and over time they will be cheaper than gas-powered cars. So the question is, if electric vehicles and gas-powered cars are the same initial price, then will you still choose a gas-powered car even though they have higher maintenance costs and is more expensive to fuel it? Electric cars is already converging with autonomous vehicles. The five major innovation platforms that Arc Invest has identified are not separate. Advances in one industry will push the advances in the other industries. DNA sequencing. DNA sequencing is the order determination of the four chemical building blocks that make up the DNA molecule. Scientists are able to pinpoint the genes for traits, turn them on and off, or alter them. This affects humans, plants, and other aspects of our lives. For humans, DNA sequencing will allow for more thorough screens, tests, and therapies for individuals with specific diseases. In most cases in healthcare, we address the symptoms of the diseases, but don't go after the root cause of them. DNA sequencing is one of the promising ways to cure diseases from cancer to blindness. For plants, we're able to produce larger, more resilient crops and offer more plant-based foods. Blockchain. Blockchain is the technology behind cryptocurrency. The blocks in blockchain store information about transactions, including date, time, dollar amount, participants, and more. The goal of blockchain is to allow information to be recorded and distributed, but not edited. It's essentially a historical record of transactions. The industry that stands out to gain the most from blockchain technology is banking. On a similar note, there has been a trend in digital wallets across the globe. The need to physically enter a bank to deposit or withdraw money is being eliminated. People are able to deposit checks by snapping a photo on their phone. They're also able to send and receive money through apps like PayPal or Venmo, and they can do so much more, all with just their mobile device. Ark Invest scrupulously tracks the advances in the financial technology industry. There are untapped markets out there and Ark Invest aims to select the breadwinners.
ETFs are exchange traded funds that contain multiple companies within a single fund. They are bought and sold just like stocks. Buying an ETF means you are purchasing all of the companies within the fund. So for example, if you purchase an S&P 500 index fund like Vanguard's VOO, you are purchasing the largest 500 companies within the US. ARK Invest provides five ETFs that investors can purchase. ARK-K, the ARK Innovation ETF. ARK-Q, the Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF. ARK-W, the Next Generation Internet ETF. ARK-G, the Genomic Revolution ETF. And ARK-F, the Fintech Innovation ETF. ARK-K is a broad general innovation ETF. It contains companies who rely on or benefit from advances in DNA technologies, industrial innovation for energy, automation, and manufacturing, the increased use of shared tech, infrastructure, and services, and technologies that make financial services more efficient. ARC-Q offers exposure to autonomous vehicles, energy storage, robotics, 3D printing, and space exploration. ARC-W offers exposure to next generation internet, including AI, big data, cloud computing, e-commerce, social media, cybersecurity, and blockchain technology. ARC-G offers exposure to CRISPR, gene editing, therapeutics, agricultural biology, and healthcare innovation such as stem cells. CRISPR is a powerful tool for editing genomes that allow researchers to alter DNA sequences and modify gene function which could potentially correct genetic defects, treat and prevent disease, and improve crops. ARC-F offers exposure to fintech innovations including mobile payments, peer-to-peer -peer lending, blockchain technology, and digital wallets. Any technology emerging in the financial technology space will be in this ETF. Let's dive deeper into one of their most popular ETFs, ARC-K, the ARC Innovation ETF. ARC-K is an actively managed ETF which results in a high expense ratio of 0.75%. This is the fee you pay annually to fund the team of analysts researching to add and remove companies from the ETF. The manager is the CEO and founder of ARK Invest itself, Kathy Wood. While past performance does not indicate future results, it's still fun to look at the performance of ARK the past several years. In the past year, it has returned about 49%, which is incredibly high. In the past three years, on average, it has returned 37%. In the past five years, it has on average returned 29%. But we can't just look at these numbers and determine if RK has performed well. We have to compare it to a index fund such as the Total US Stock Market Index Fund or the S&P 500. And over the past one year, the S&P 500 has returned about 12% and the same roughly 11 to 12% over three years and a five year time horizon. So compared to the S&P 500, RK has performed better over the past five years. But again, this does not mean RK will perform better than the S&P 500 in the following years. Let's take a deeper dive into the weightings of the top 10 holdings of ARK K. The largest holding is Tesla, and Tesla provides solutions for sustainable energy with electric cars, solar, and integrated renewable energy solutions for homes and businesses. You've probably heard of their electric cars. The second largest holding is the company Square. Square helps millions of sellers run their businesses with secure credit card processing. They've enabled sellers to simply collect payments through their mobile devices. Next is Invite Corporation, which provides reliable genetic screening, testing, and support. They aim to improve healthcare by driving down the cost of reliable, comprehensive, and actionable genetic testing. Fourth is CRISPR Therapeutics. CRISPR Technologies uses the gene editing technology CRISPR to precisely alter genomic DNA. They have an established portfolio of therapeutic programs across many different disease areas, including regenerative medicine and rare diseases. 
Roku provides one of the simplest ways to stream entertainment to your TV. One of their products is this box that easily allows you to pull up your favorite streaming services like Netflix or Hulu. To You Incorporated powers world-class online education and in-person boot camps. It's an American education technology company that supplies institutions with cloud-based platforms, coursework design, infrastructure support, and capital. Proto Labs Incorporated quickly provides custom prototypes through 3D printing. They can produce and assemble parts in as fast as one day with their automated 3D printing technology. Illumina is a company that enables scientists, researchers, healthcare professionals to read and understand genetic variations. They provide the tools that make genetic analysis possible. Lending Tree helps you get the best deal possible on your loans. They provide consumers multiple offers from several lenders, allowing you to easily compare the best loan deals out there. Zillow is a leader in the real estate marketplace. On their site, you can search for millions of for sale and rental listings, compare Zestimate home values, and connect with real estate professionals in your local area. ARK Invest ETFs are definitely some of the more risky ETFs, but the notion is interesting. It's an easy way for people to invest who do not hold a ton of knowledge about the disruptive innovations happening in often tech-based markets. I personally don't believe someone should have all of their investments in an ARK ETF, but to have it only make up a small percentage of your portfolio. I generally don't have more than 10% in risky, volatile individual stocks. ARK Invest contains a lot of high risk, high reward stocks, and therefore I lump it into the category of individual stocks and have less than 10% of my portfolio in them. To avoid the high fees of an actively managed ARK ETF, I've decided to create an M1 Finance Pi with the top 20 holdings of ARK K. You can do the same as well, and I'll leave a link to M1 Finance in the description below, and you can get started with a free $10. Pop the like button because it really helps support me in this channel. Subscribe for weekly videos on personal finance and investing, and I will smell y'all later. Peace.